Our Nissan division sales, you can see I won't take you through all the numbers there on Juke, Central Leaf, Rogue, and Frontier, but we've had some amazing success with our core model product vehicles. And as I mentioned earlier, already with only the month of November being over, it's been our best sales year ever in the history of Nissan North America, with still a full month remaining. And we're one of the fastest growing brands in America. And what's important is that we've brought a disciplined mentality to Nissan. Everyone can sell more vehicles when you put more money on the hood, more incentives, and before you know it, you're out of business and you're spiraling downhill because your margins on your vehicle are so poor. You have to have a really disciplined approach to running this railroad in the automotive business, and we've been very disciplined about keeping our incentive spend versus the other OEMs that are out there in check in either at average or well below average. I think every single month for the last 18 months, we've been below average on our incentive spend. So trying to do it the right way, despite the fact that we've got new product entries from the other manufacturers, the other competition, who I have tremendous respect for, and incentive levels from some of the manufacturers that traditionally don't put many incentives on their vehicles that are now ratcheting up significantly over the course of the last six to 12 months. You see how we've done on NV and MV200 sales as well. It's a bright spot for us as we get into the commercial vehicle segment within the industry. And then of course, LEAF, I'm very proud of this LEAF. A lot of people didn't, didn't think this vehicle would be successful. Uh, but we continue to do amazing things. Again, with the LEAF already, with still a month remaining, we've already surpassed uh, worldwide volumes and our best volume for that LEAF vehicle sales. And we're the number one selling electric, fully electric vehicle in the entire world globally, not just here in the United States. So we, we plan to have much more success with the LEAF. You know what our core models are, Ultima, Rogue, Pathfinder, Versa Note, Sentra. One thing about the Versa and Versa Note, that was surprising to me that we don't make enough hay over and we're starting to do some advertising campaigns with it. We've been the best selling entry level segment vehicle in America for the past six years running. And I think that's something to, to be proud of that we haven't done a very good job of, of telling America about. So you're gonna start seeing more of that. And of course, with these core model vehicles that makes up 75% of our sales volume. So very important to make sure that we keep our momentum on these vehicles and of course, but those being our core models, uh, we still have more to come. Some exciting vehicles that are coming down the road. You're here to, to drive and see everything that we have to offer with this new Murano, which from a styling standpoint is just absolutely drop dead gorgeous, both on the outside, especially on the inside once you get into the interior and you see what we've done to the vehicle. So far, the early feedback that we've had from, from people that we've put in this vehicle has been absolutely stellar. So we're very, very proud of that. Then around the corner, we've got the new Maxima that's coming. And if that vehicle doesn't just uh, knock people over when they see how gorgeous it is from the outside and the inside of this vehicle, I will be quite, quite surprised every time I see it and fall in love with the vehicle. I've always, even in my past life, been a big fan of the Murano and the Maxima for the Nissan brand. So we're gonna embellish that and make sure it's a huge part, a huge pillar of what we do with the Nissan brand. And then of course, something that I kind of have a little passion about us talking about trucks. So we got a new Nissan truck coming towards the end of next year. We're gonna have some fun with that. We're gonna have fun with the diesel engine being in that truck and um, making hay with that. I think we're gonna surprise a lot of people with what we've done to this truck. Long time coming, some difficulties in there between the last 12 years since the last truck had been launched that put us in this position. But nonetheless, we had to lick our wounds and get back to being serious about creating a truck that will compete in the marketplace and, and give us some market share gains. Our Juke enhancements, we've got some new changes to the front end, to the sides, to the LED lamps and, and mirrors, um, some new colors and a new Juke color studio, which at the LA Auto Show a couple of weeks ago I talked about it and uh, was quite a hit. <clears throat> uh, these are some of the new enhancements, projector, halogen beams, LED signature accents, <coughs> turn signals, Nissan Connect, smartphone integration, I won't go through all of them, but some neat bells and whistles that we've added to the Juke. And then this thing, people, if you know the Juke and you know the demographic, which we know quite well, people who drive these Jukes, they're different looking vehicles, so they're not for everybody. <coughs> these people love to stand out in a crowd. They're the types of people that pull up to a party and say, I'm here and they want everyone to notice them. They're usually the life of the party types of people. 
So with this new Juke Color Studio, you have eight colors to choose from and 12 accessories. And of those 12 accessories, nine of those accessories will backfit any of our prior Juke vehicles. So you can buy one or you can buy the entire package depending on what your color makeup is. We even had some fun with Marcus Allen and, and created a USC colored Trojans uh, vehicle for him while we were at LA and he was uh, quite impressed and also took it to the game last week. Uh, he asked for it on stage so I couldn't tell him no. Thank <laughs> you.